Welcome. In our previous lesson, we discussed the definition of sets and stated some examples. In this lesson, we'd want to learn to reduce sets to their simplest or basic form. Our objective for today's lesson is by the end of the lesson, you will be able to reduce sets to their basic form. Now, before we go on, let us put down some squared numbers. So for squared numbers, we have 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, and the list goes on. If you are given a set, for example, square root of 24, to reduce to its simplest or base, basic form, 1. You have to find one of these squared numbers, which is a factor of 24. Can you guess that squared number? Perfect. 24 can be expressed as 4 times 6. We can further expand this as the square root of 4 times the square root of 6. Now you know that the square root of 4 gives us 2. But the square root of 6 gives us an irrational decimal. And so we'll keep it this way. Finally, this becomes 2 root 6. And that is the simplest form of root 6. 24. Our second example is to reduce square root of 75. You have some few seconds to find which perfect square can divide 75. Expected answer is 25, and that is multiplied by 3. With this, we can break this into the square root of 25 times the square root of 3. The next point is that we can easily evaluate the square root of 25 and that gives us 5. However, the square root of 3 is an irrational decimal, so we keep it this way. Then the final answer becomes 5 square root of 3. So 5 root 3 is the basic form or the simplest form of the square root of 25. This brings us to the end of this lesson. In this lesson, we have learned how to reduce sets into their simplest or basic form. Remember, it is very important to identify which perfect square is a factor of the given number under the radical sign. In our le next lesson, will learn to add and subtract sets. See you the next lesson.